when it came to the killing of the Chechens in Chechnya and Grozny, they said that tens of thousands of people were killed. That's how bad. This is 1999. This is how bad our death counts are. How many people were killed by the Russians in Chechnya? Oh, tens of thousands. And Grozny? And Grozny. Grozny, that's Ivan the Terrible. Right? Ivan the Grozny. It's also right by the Caucasus Mountains, right? Hey, Caucasians. Hey, you white people. The land of Caucasia. Isn't that, isn't that the Caucasus Mountains? Isn't that where you motherfuckers came from? I mean, you guys named yourselves after. So it's like your origins. Or so, what is that? What's the Caucasus Mountains? What does that mean to you? I bet you Caucasians don't goddamn know. <laughs> oh, you Caucasians. From the land of Caucasia, huh? From the land of Caucasia. So, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith. She couldn't even get Kane out of the ghetto. How are you going to expect her, Miss Ghetto Rat, to find herself a man who already got himself out of the ghetto to keep him out of the ghetto? She couldn't even get Kane out of the ghetto. She is a ghetto rat. She's a ghetto rat, and she's always going to be a ghetto rat. Jada Pinkett Smith is only going to drown. That's what ghetto rats do. Ghetto rats cling onto the strong and then take them down with them. Ghetto rats drown. And they take anybody and everybody under with them. Right, guys? She looked, She did look like a goddamn villain. Jesus Christ. And menace to society was absolutely jaw-dropping. Jaw-droppingly gorgeous. And now with that fucking long ass gown, you know she ain't gonna pick a tomato. You know she ain't gonna goddamn mow a lawn. You know she isn't gonna cook a slab of steak. So, you know, get mad at me, but I didn't shoot Kane. I didn't shoot Kane. I wanted Kane to get out of the ghetto. I wanted Kane to get out of the ghetto and make something of himself. Boys in the hood. I wanted both of those, you know? Both of those young men to get out of the hood. And they got shot up too. And The Rock told him. Didn't The Rock. He told Kane and The Rock. I mean, the, he was very uh, before his time. So it was prescient. But The Rock. Chris. Not Chris Rock. But I mean, The Rock. Fucking, you know, The Rock. Johnson, Dwayne, The, the Rock. Did he steal that shit from... What, what's his name? The Rock. I don't even know his name. He used to have a show on Fox called The Rock. And how come Fox News is conservative news, but Fox TV is a whole bunch of, it's like popular culture, American pop culture and American government and politics are the exact opposite. I would turn on Fox to watch Married with Children and The Simpsons and they're the Fox News people. What in the hell is going on here? But The Rock had warned Kane, he said, you know, before, if Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you stole the, his moniker? Anyways, or I guess both y'all stole Chris Rock's moniker. Anyways, The Rock, he had said to Kane, the hunt is on. The hunt is on and you're the prey. So, uh, yeah, that was a nice warning to Kane, but Kane didn't listen, did he? Kane did not listen. He didn't listen. Jada Pinkett Smith says, let's just get out of here, Kane. Let's just go. So what, how's this connect to the Ukraine? Chris Rock and the Ukraine both have a natural right to defend themselves. Natural right to food, water, clothing, shelter. And the right to, you know, knock a guy's block off if they try to attack you. We all have a not natural right to defend ourselves. We all have a natural right to defend ourselves and others. We have a natural right to defend ourselves and to defend Chris Rock and to defend the Ukraine. Fuck the violent aggressor. Fuck the violent aggressor. Water can be formless, but water can also crash. So be water, my friend. Be water. Charlemagne the God said that at least Putin gave notice, you know, trying to say that Will Smith is worse than Putin. In that respect, yeah, I guess he cold cock sucker punched, sucker slapped him. At least Putin gave notice, Charlemagne the God said. I think the biggest difference between, uh, you know, Adolf Putin and the 40-day fucking bombardment and Will Smith is that uh, Will Smith 
uh, didn't, you know, rape and pillage and steal and kill the shit out of Chris Rock's family and neighborhood for the past 40 fucking days. Will Smith had a bad, trashy moment, but he ain't no Putin, motherfucker, Jesus Christ, Putin's aggression, tens of thousands of people are, tens of thousands, we can't, it's like Grozny, we know that tens of thousands of people are dying, is it going to get up to hundreds of thousands, maybe, maybe it'll just be 90,000, maybe it'll just be 50,000, but we know tens of thousands of Anne Franks are being killed right now by Jeffrey Dahmers, as we speak, in Ukraine, by Putin's goddamn fucking goons. I saw a video of a Ukrainian Air Force guy who crashed his plane into Russian tanks. We should, you know, arm the damn Ukrainian planes with... I could just see that Ukrainian, though. Oof, it'd be tough. But remember the hole in my door. That's what the fuck I'd be shouting. Remember the hole of my door! Remember the hole of my door! You rat bastard motherfuckers. No, Russia's not Ukraine because of uh, the hole of my door. That's why. The hole of my door, motherfucker. That's why. No, no. No, Russia tried to do this shit, and then they just hole of my door, the motherfuckers. That was a good communist. I said to trust you fucking right-wing capitalist imperialist to goddamn come in here and feed us. When the game, If the communists weren't going to do it, no fucking way are you goddamn capitalist imperialists going to do it. Remember the hall of my door. Do it for the hall of my door. Ukraine. Ukraine. Or some folks say that black folks took an L for the, you know, Will Smith assaulting Chris Rock. Yeah, in a way, yes. Yeah, black on black, you know, crime. But uh, even though Whoopi Goldberg's not allowed to say it, I'm allowed to say it. The Russo-Ukraine War of 2022. This is a big fat fucking L. For white people. White folks are taking a big ass fucking L. Right on the fucking chin. Not just a smack. Not just one bad moment. Not just one tiny little bit. You know. One little. You know. Messed up moment. But 40 days and 40 nights of continuous. 40 days and 40 nights of non-stop continuous rape, murder, pillage, looting, violence, arson. Non-stop. Massive criminality. Massive criminality. So, yeah, white people, you got a big fucking L, fucking white people. What the fuck? People are looking at this shit and saying, ah, fuck the Ukraine people. Let the Ukrainian people fend for themselves. We got an $800 billion empire here, and we're not going to use it for shit. We're not going to use it for any good at all, huh? $800 billion hammer here, and we got one little nail. We're not going to we're not gonna use our $800 billion empire for this tiny little nail. So, the very first thing I want to mention is that Putin said that Khrushchev gave Crimea to the Ukraine in 1954. I think it was 1957. Let's see when that happened. So, Khrushchev. Gave Crimea to Ukraine. Says, 1954. 1954. Okay, so that's not a good point on my end. <laughs> so we'll scratch that point out. But uh, yeah, Khrushchev gave Crimea to the Ukraine in 1954. Was that one year before the Beidong Conference? You know what? I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to come back. <laughs> 